Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the time period of December 1st to December 14th, 2019. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. For those of you who have been here since the beginning of time, thank you so much. I really appreciate your continuous love and support. Okay, so I had a little bit of an issue with Aries video where um, towards the middle it froze, uh, which is the reason why I think uh, I was having difficulty uploading it. So hopefully yours won't have that issue. Okay, so... Let's see what is coming through for you for the first half of December. Hmm. Okay, um, Aquarius, so you have the high priestess energy, which is underneath, but need to use. So the high priestess energy implies, but I get something that's something really interesting about this. So the high priestess energy implies you're using your intuition, but I feel this feeling of like a love partner or I get a potential one, a love partner or, or a potential one, but it has something to do with a boyfriend or liking liking you or liking them. So as a girlfriend, or is, it could be a girlfriend or a boyfriend that you already have, or the spirit also implied potential. So we're looking at someone. So as a potential, it has something to do with the way you look at someone or someone Someone that you have, someone that you have around, someone that you have around you, you, you're, you're either not seeing becoming, becoming a partner. You're either not seeing that they're becoming a love partner or a business partner to you, but open, open your eyes. So the high priestess energy underneath is opening your eyes and needing to see, needing to see, I'll give you a perfect example. This is, this, this is, um, I'll give you an example. This is like you, you have a friend starting to like, you have a friend that you're starting to like, or you, or you have someone that's around you that you potential business partner. So when I said someone around you, you, there's something going on with using your intuition that someone around you could be a potent, could be a potential business partner to you. But the spirit is saying, open your eyes. So either, either you're shutting down your own intuition about someone that you have around you, about a friend, about a business partner, about a person of just a random person around you that would the spirit is saying would be a good business partner for you. So that could be where the open eyes analogy is coming from, or just being with someone, period, with the high priestess energy underneath. So it could be a friend, it could as simple as that. It could be a friend that you're falling in love with. But you don't see, but you don't see that, that you belong with that person. You're not, you're not seeing that you belong with that person or there, there's a friend around you. There's a friend that you have that you may not work with, but they, but they, how to utilize. So the spirit is saying how to utilize that friend, how to, how to, how to introduce um, a business idea to them. They could be a potential business with good skills. They could be a potential business partner for you that has good skills. So really it's just needing to see. Okay. Your starting point has the Knight of Cups energy here. So I get Cancer. So the Knight of Cups energy is a Cancer. Uh, it can also be Pisces, uh, Scorpio, whatever water sign energy that you're tied to. But they know something. So the water sign energies that you're tied to, they a potential business partner. The Nine of Cups energy is that they they could be they could be a they they just know. So if they're not if they're not the business partner or if they're not the lover that's coming in to work with you. Then it's just a water sign energy, like a Pisces, a Cancer. I was getting Cancer energy first, whatever water sign. They, they, I feel like they're coming in to introduce. I feel like they're coming in to introduce you to a business partner, or but I had a friend. When I said introduce, when I said them coming in to introduce you to a business partner, it it could be a friend that you have that is doing that, and it could be a water sign energy that's a friend, but they know someone that's good. So the water sign energy that you're tied to. They know someone that's good. They know someone, they file papers. They know someone that can help you file your documents and file paperwork and things of that nature. They, I, Pisces does. The Pisces know someone that would be very, 
but Pisces knows someone that would be very beneficial in, in some type of area of work that you have that would that would be helpful in filing papers and documents and those kind of things for you. But do I have to pay? So when I said, do I, do I have to pay? You're asking whichever water sign, you're asking the water sign energy co-workers. The water sign energies are co-workers on some level. If they're not real co-workers, one of them acts like one. So if they're not real co-workers, one of them acts like they're your co-worker, but has a good uh, has a good perspective into something, but need to listen. So high priestess, you need to listen. You need to listen to the co. You need to listen to the co-worker or the person or a friend that you have that's trying to act like a co-worker. They have good ideas. A friend that you're a friend that you have that they're trying to act like they are your co-worker. They they're the ones that are coming in to give you a good idea why don't you just listen to so the nine of cups in the starting point why don't you just listen to the water sign why don't you just listen why don't you just listen hey, perspective why don't you just lis listen to the water sign energy's perspective whatever the water sign whatever perspective the water sign energy has for you so they it could be theirs or someone that they want to introduce you to or an idea that they feel an idea that they feel like you should adopt but I don't want to pay. So every time I say idea, an idea that they feel you should adopt, yeah, I don't want to pay. So that's why the Nine of Cups, I don't want to pay for, I don't want to pay for a secretary. I don't want to pay for an assistant, but scared of that. So paying for an assistant, you may be scared to do that for some reason. Are you scared to, are you scared to employ friend? Are you scared or nervous to employ a friend? to help you with those things, to, to pay a friend, but worry that they will steal. So the reason, the reason into why you feel nervous or scared to do that with a friend, particularly, you may not want to cross that boundary with a friend. They, someone's going on with having some type of fear that they will steal something from you. But why would you have, why would you have that thought if they're a friend? Why would, why would, uh, if they're a friend that's turning into a potential business partner, why would you be afraid? Why would you be, be afraid to pay them why would you be afraid to have them around you at that level if they're supposed to be a friend? But I don't see. So the nine of cups energy, I don't see that, okay? What you're waiting on is a two of cups energy with the nine of cups. So two of cups energy does reside with water, Pisces. It does reside heavily with a Pisces, Cancerian, and, but they know each other. So a Pisces, a Pisces, and a Cancerian energy that you have around you, they may know each other, but they're the ones giving the offer. They're the ones that are giving the offer to you in terms of being an assistant. I get pay in terms of pay, in terms of asking to work with you, in terms of being your assistant. I get colleague in terms of being your colleague, your assistant, but something's going on with paying them. That's what they talk about. Something's going on with either those two elements singular, like those two elements external from you. They could be, they could be having a converse pay they could be having a conversation on their own separate from something that you have this it doesn't really feel like a separate could be separate from something that you have business deal separate from a business deal that you have going on here they're pulling each other aside to have conversations about your assistant they're pulling each other aside to have conversations to have a conversation about being your assistant but you the intuition don't notice happening the intuition card underneath High priestess underneath is that you don't know that those you don't know Cancer and Pisces you don't know that those conversations are happening between the can but they're old co-workers also so you're not knowing that those conversations are happening between a Cancer and a Pisces the spirit is also saying that those elements are old co-workers they're old coming back in they're old co-workers that they're coming back in with a, that that could be somebody being old co-workers. The energy coming back in. That they're old co-workers that are coming back in, and the idea of them that betrayed you in the past. The idea of them coming back in, or the idea of them giving you a business offer, a business offer or idea, something about it could be making you nervous because they could have betrayed old job. They could have betrayed you in an old job, or they they stole something. They could have stole something from you in an old job or in the past. They, but they feel feel remorseful. So one of those elements or both of those elements may feel really remorseful for some reason. And that could be why the business objective, that could be why they're coming back in with a business objective. But are you sure? So the two of cups energy, you're asking the water sign energies, only one of them. You're asking only one of the water sign energies, you know, are you sure? Are they asking you? Are, are, are they asking you, are you sure? It just depends on what's going on. So what it feels like before I go any further, 
if I had friend, it feels like you, it feels like you have a friend that is coming in and they, they have a very interesting business idea for you, but take them up on. So that could be something that you need to do, or something's going on with having a friend. Something's going on with having a friend and they just want to, they just want to be your business partner. As simple as that. They just want to be your business partner. And you're trying to figure if I, you're trying to figure out if you have enough money even to pay that person that is coming in, that is a friend to work with you. Or something's going on with ex-co-workers, devious. Someone's devious about ex-co-workers, but one of them or however many of them or both of them, they may have pulled each other aside, have a conversation about your money. They could have pulled each other aside to have a conversation about your money. And that could be why they're giving back to you. That could be why they're coming back in because they may want to give it back to you. The two of cups with the nine of cups energy being there. Mm, and that could be where the I'm not sure energy is coming from. The I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to work with, I'm not sure if I want to work with ex coworkers that betray me in the past. I'm not sure if I want to side with friend. I'm not sure if I want to side with a particular friend in, the, in that way. I'm not sure if I want to cross a boundary with a friend and pay my friend in the kind of way that she wants, in the kind of way that he or she wants. It's she, there could be a female water sign. Mm, that is a ex coworker, ex colleague, or they could be. They could end up being new ones, but don't see. They could end up being new ones to you, but you don't see that they are. You don't see that they are. So it's a friend, or it's um, it's a friend, or it's a uh, it's an ex coworkers, or it's ex coworkers that they constantly talk about your money. There's ex coworkers that you have that they constantly talk about your money. You know they talk about your money. You do or you do not. It just depends on what's going on. Your present has the sign of Sag with the temperance energy right here in the present. So helpful. So something could be really helpful about a Sagittarian, but know them. So a, a Sag that you're tied to, they know a Cancer that stole. They know a Cancer that stole. They know they know a Pisces that you work with. They know a Pisces that you work with or you do business with. But how do they know? So the intuition card. How does the how does a Sag know about a Pisces? How does a Sag know a can that stole? How does a, how does a Sag know about a Cancerian energy? that stole something from you, but they have conversations often. So I, those three elements may have conversation money or your funds. Those elements have conversations about your money or your funds. They have those conversations often. But why am I why am I exempt? So the um the what do you call it? The temperance energy with the Sag right here in the present, right here in the present is you're asking yourself or you're asking them or it's, it, it could be a it could be a question that you have yourself inside your mind that you haven't right to Sag. It's a question that you have inside of your head that you haven't voiced to a sanitary energy yet. Why am I a conversation? Why am I exempt from a conversation? Why am I excluded? If it's about my, if it's about my money, if it's about my money or part of my money, why, why aren't the whole truth? Why aren't they telling me the whole truth? Why am I, why am I excluded? Why am I exempt from the meeting? Why am I exempt from this meeting? Why am I, why am I excluded from this conversation? But don't want you to see something. So I'm looking at the Sag and they don't want you to see something dealing with your partner in some type of interesting way. So they don't want you, they don't want you to see or realize that they're dealing with your partner, your business partner, your, your ex coworker, or they used to work together. So when I hit that, they, used to work together or they have run-ins with each other somehow in the past but they, they talk often about your how something how something was stolen from you they talk often about how something was stolen from you with the um with the temperance energy being in the present Mm. So you need you may need to have a conversation with Sag and 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 Pisces and Cancer a secret of deal those elements could be in a secret of deal around you and you're trying to figure out why you're excluded or it it may not even be intentional it may not even be intentional that you're excluded from a conversation or protection. It could be, it could be that someone wants to protect you. It could be that a Sag wants to protect you, whatever, or it's one of the water signs, but they're devious. So someone is devious like about one of the water sign energies and about their involvement with us that you live with and about their involvement with a Sagittarian energy that you live with or the Sag knows someone exes. The Sag knows someone that is tied to your exes or your ex business partners or your ex coworkers. And they have conversations, they, they're having conversations, the high priestess energy underneath, they're having conversations about how the money was, how your money was stolen how part of taxes, how part of your taxes or how part of your money was stolen in the past or some type of shadiness of a business deal 
that you some type of shadiness of a business deal exempt from some type some part of it you are exempt from exempt from but you don't realize that's why the temperance energy is there some part of that business deal you were exempt from that you don't realize you were exempt from and someone isn't giving you the full sash sash isn't giving you the full information into what happened when you weren't somewhere but that was protection so when i said that like earlier on in the reading that was a form of protection but i don't see it that way so the temperance energy in the present i don't see it that way you may not see it that way that could be what you're complaining to a sat indirectly. That could be what you're complaining to a Sagittarian energy about indirectly, indirectly. Okay. The future has the seven of wands energy there. Okay. Okay. Your instincts has the ace of wands energy idea. So the ace of wands energy move. The ace of wands energy is an idea that you need to have. You it's fire sign energy. So it could be betrayed by Sag. It, it's fire sign energy. You may feel betrayed by but they took. So you feel betrayed by Sag because they took something. They took money. They took part of your, they know what happened. <laughs> they know what happened with your money or they know they know they know that the Cancer and the Pisces or whatever water sign they constantly talk they constantly what was stolen they constantly talk about what was stolen from you for some reason for some reason you don't know that something was stolen from you or the sag has that information so when i said that a sagittarian energy has that information a long time they've had that information for a long period of time but how to confront them so the ace of wands energy in the instincts how to confront the sag i get aries also how to confront a sag how to confront an aries element you may, you may be trying to figure out how to confront the Aries and the Sagittarius, but those elements talk often. So the Aries and the Sag, those elements talk often. That could be why, the, another reason that you're waiting on the water sign and Aries, another reason why you're waiting on the water sign energy, because it has something to do with secretive knowledge that the water sign energies have about an Aries, an Aries element that you're tied to that's intertwined in the business deal. They're intertwined in the business deal, but I didn't know. So an Aries element is intertwined in some type of business deal involving your money, involving your pay, they get paid more. So an Aries element gets paid more by a Sag or the water sign, help them to your money. The water sign energies help an Aries element to your money, to your taxes. Why is this happening? So the, the temperance energy, high priestess, ace of wands, why is this, why is this business partners? Why is this happening between me and my business partners? Why, why is a Sag moving like, why is a Sag moving like this with me in a business deal? but they don't want you to see. Every time I say, they, they don't want you to see Aries involvement. They don't want you to see the involvement that an Aries element has taxes. They don't want you to see the kind of involvement that they, they got an Aries element involved with your taxes and things of that nature. So it just depends on what's going on. So the water sign energy is halfway helping you. <laughs> the water sign energies could be halfway helping you, or they're helping you I, to only a certain amount. So only a certain amount of information. So the water sign energies are helping you to only a certain amount, or very they're being very limited with you into a certain amount of information that they're giving you. But don't want you to don't want you to see that an Aries element is involved. That could be something that they don't want you to see. They don't want you to know the, the level of involvement that an Aries element Sag knows. The Sag knows the level of involvement Aries element has with your your personal your your money, your taxes, and things of that nature. They don't want you to know that. And the reason and the reason into why they don't want you like timing. The reason why they don't want you to know that particularly is because they're having they're having meeting on the phone. They're having meetings on the phone separate from you, and that could be why that could be why you're exempt or you're you're excluded from certain meetings that certain meetings that happen in the business deal in the workplace but that's why i was asked to leave so when i said that, that's why i was asked to leave that's why you were asked to go on vacation that's why you were asked to take time off however you want to look at it, that's what somebody asks you to do something and your intuition is like why are they asking me to do this precisely at this particular time it's to have a meeting about you so it's to have a meeting about you about your money whatever mm. The accomplishment has the, what do you call it? The sun card. I also consider the sun to be the sign of Leo or it's just success right next to, but I was going to be. So when I said success that I was going to be, or you are, so you, you could be successful. You could be successful because of the water information, because of the water sign energy is coming in with information but told you to get out of business deal. So the sun right next to the Knight of Cups, the water sign energies are trying, or it could be a Leo screaming at you. It could be a Leo that's screaming at you on the phone or, the, or, or they're screaming. You think they're going to scream at your involvement. You think they're going to scream at you because of some type of involvement. 
that you're aware of, you're not aware of, are you going, or do you want to water sign? You may want to scream at the water sign energies there, but they didn't tell you Leo was involved. So the water sign energies, they're not telling you that a Leo is also involved here. A Leo is also involved. But the, I wanted to get back to the point where you're trying to say you, you were going to be, if Aries wasn't involved, you're going to be successful. If only an Aries, it only finding out, if only an Aries element isn't involved, but something, something is messing up something. Something about their involvement is potentially, or it is messing up something. That's why the sun is right next to the Knight of Cups energy there with the Ace of how to get Aries out the way. So those elements, those energies there is how to get the Aries element out of the way. So it just depends. Okay. Sorry, jittery video. Your spiritual self has the hangman energy right next to the two of cups. All right, so spiritual learning. So the hangman energy, business deal, the hangman energy is literally spiritual learning that you have going on in the business Aries. It's literally spiritually spiritually learning about something that something about Aries element taxes, something about Aries elements involvement with your taxes, or you being you being because of the water sign, you being involved with taxes because of the Aries element. But didn't know that no didn't know that they were on. So the hangman energy right next to the two of cups. You didn't know Aries up because of Leo. Because of that, because you didn't know Aries element was involved with your taxes, a part of a business deal. You also didn't know that they were a part of a business deal. And it could be a Sag and a Leo. I didn't know. It could be a Sag and a Leo that's responsible for knowing that Aries element is involved in that way. That's why the hangman is right next to the two of cups. But the water sign energy years, the water sign energies, they could have been involved with something here for years. Aries, or they just Aries involvement. They just they just known that an Aries element has been involved with something here for years. Or the water sign energies have been around longer than Aries. The water sign energies have been around longer than the Aries element has. They've been around longer than the Aries element has. That's why the hangman is right next to the two of cups. But are they going to tell me everything? So the hangman right next to the two of cups, are they going to tell me everything? Is the Cancer, is the Pisces, is the Sag, betrayers. Whatever I do, Cancer, Pisces, Sag, they're betrayers. Something is, is betrayal about those elements because they're not telling you Somebody's weaning off of taxes. They're not telling you. It gave part of your money away. They're not telling you that they gave part. But something is temporary. So they're not telling you that they gave part of your money away. Something is temporary about them giving. Something is only temporary that they gave part of your money away. So which means, which it could have went to the Aries, yes, or the Leo just depends on what's going on. But all of them have it. So when I said Aries and Leo, all of them have it. All of them have your pay. All of them have part of your money, but it's to disperse. So when I said it, it's it's to disperse. So they they could be they could be dispersing it, trying to make it back. They could be dispersing it, but they're they're quickly trying to figure out a way. That's why I wasn't in a meeting. They're quickly trying to they're quickly trying to figure out a way to regenerate that money back. So that could be why you were exempt from a meeting or a conversation. I had a phone conversation. That could be why you were asked to hang up from a phone conversation. And you may not have been using your intuition of why is someone hanging up the phone so quickly? Or why why is it that I'm being asked to leave the office and things of that nature? It just depends on what's going on there. But it has to do it has to do with parts of your money being it has to do with parts of your money being dispersed. But somebody, somebody's doing some, the reason to why somebody funding, the reason to why somebody's doing that is because they, they may need funding or they're lacking funding, or that could just be their way of regenerating more money to give back to you. They want to regenerate more money to give back to you, but I would have taken it if they didn't do that. So yeah, I would have taken it if they, if they were, if that's, if they had only told me that that's what they were trying to do, I would have just, I, I would just take what they, what they were giving me, but wanted to generate more. So when I, they, they wanted to generate more, that could be why they're doing something secretively. So it could be an element of surprise it, it, it or it could be an element of surprise for good or for bad as element of prize or that could be or something is just really taxes something's just really shady about the way somebody's handling your taxes and whatever and whatever the situation is here something something may just be really shady about the way somebody's handling taxes okay that's why the hangman is right next to the two of cups with the water sign energies and, and information and, and and then knowing something for years but i was a part of knowing something for years i was a part of so it could be a company, it could be a business deal that you're in with the water signs, 
and they know Aries involved. They know Aries been involved for a while. You you know that, or but they were gonna tell you. So the Aries, if the Aries element being involved, the water sign energies were going to tell you. They were going to tell you, but for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, an Aries element being involved with the sun, with the sun and your success, it, they 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 may be getting more, holding your money. They're getting more, but they're also holding your money. And and, and something about them holding your is setting back a business. Something about them holding your money is setting back a business for some reason. And that's the information that the Sag has gave them. That's the information the Sag has. The Sag is responsible for giving the Aries element that or Leo or the water sign energies or the water sign energies. Just know that a Sag is having those kind of interactions with the Aries and Leo-like element or just a Sag and the Aries conversation. Just a Sag and the Aries elements are having those conversations. It just depends on what's going on. Your mentality has the Aries. There's your fire sign energy. That's a female. Can also be Sag, female and male. Sag, female, male energies there. Or it's um it's an Aries female and they want them to leave. So you may want get get out of business. You want them to get out of a business deal or get out get out of a business period. But she's not going to. So the the Sag female, the um the Sag female, someone deceptive about a Sag female, someone may be interested about Aries female involvement here. I didn't even know she was. That's why I said, I didn't even know an Aries female was involved in the, I didn't know they were involved, but love them. So when I say Aries female, you love them or you, you had some type of love feeling for them, but they don't see you that way. So when I said that, they may not see you that way or, or, or they do what they do not. It just depends on what's going on. But at the same time, you didn't even know, you didn't, Sash, you didn't know they were involved with a Sag. Or you didn't know that they were talking, you didn't know that they were manhandling, somebody's being manhandled. Or something could be manhandled about your funds. It just depends on what's going on with the, uh, what do you call this? With the Queen of Wands energy right there and the mentality with the Ace of Wands. You didn't know they were involved. You know, Sag, conversations, your money. Somebody somebody dispersing somebody dispersing parts of your money, but it's to, it's to generate more. But at the same time, it doesn't make any sense. At the same time, it, that something there doesn't make any sense. But somebody sees something. Somebody sees that as a way to generate more money for some reason. But you're saying that they could have just handed it to you. They could, you're saying that they could just hand it to you without dispersing it to generate more. But why is that necessary? So every time I say that, why is that necessary to do? Why is that necessary to do? Somebody you don't understand. Also, a Leo, you and a Leo may not understand why that's necessary to do in some type of situation. Why is it necessary to have her with me? So, why is it necessary to have this element involved? This depends on what's going on. What's changing is the Knight of Pentacles energy here. So, Knight of Pentacles energy is Earth sign. So, you could you could be dealing with Capricorns, male. You could be dealing with a Capricorn energy that's a male, um, Taurus elements, Virgo males. It give, it's giving me a heavy male energy, but they have information. So, the males that are Taurus and the males, Capricorn males, could be female energies also. They they may have information. I, on what they see. So the earth sign energies right here, they have information on what they see. They have information. They just have information on what they see, like what they, what they hear, what they, but the spirit was saying, see, I conversations. They, they, uh, they, they eyeball conversations. They eyeball conversations that happen in a business deal. They are, uh, they eyeball workplace environment. They eyeball a workplace environment or conversations that are happening inside of a workplace environment or a business deal. But need to talk to. So I'm looking at the nine of pentacles. You may need to pull them aside to have a conversation. What Sag is doing. You need to pull the Knight of Pentacles energy, the Taurus, the Capricorn, whichever. You need to pull the Earth side energies aside and have a conversation about what a Sagittarian, what did they see them doing? What did, did they see a Sagittarian energy doing? But it's going to be weird if I ask that. So when I said it, it's going to be weird if you ask the Earth side energies that. For some reason, it's going to be weird. For some reason, something for some reason, a question that you have about Sag and Aries, some type of question that you have in your mind about a Sag and the Aries element is going to be where it's going to be where to ask a Taurus male. It's going to be weird to ask a Capricorn energy, male, female, whatever. It's going to be weird to ask those earth sign energies. But they already know you want to ask that. So when I said they already know you, you they already know you know something, or they already know what's happening. They already know what's happening, or they already know. What's going on with your money and what Sag is doing and conversations Sag and Aries elements are having. Or you need to ask the Taurus of what the conversations that a Sag and Aries element have been having. 
but I get around another earth sign. So that has to do also with what's happening around another earth sign energy. But you need to talk to the Sag. You need to talk to the Aries element. Mm, they have that information. But also about you. They also have that information about you. So you're asking questions. You're asking questions about one earth sign that another earth sign energy can give you. But it's pertaining to a Sag and an Aries element that are their partners. Whatever it is. But someone's going on rhetorical questions. Someone's going on with asking rhetorical questions that you already know the answers to. Hmm. Or that, that that could be something that they do with you or someone else. Or that could be something that you said. That could be something that you're doing that they observe that you're doing with a sad, but you already know the answers to the question. The resolution has the eight of cups going towards the seven of wands energy. Okay. So the eight of cups house, the eight of cups is something is interesting going on inside of your home going to, but arguing with the fire sign that the eight of cups implies you may be about earth sign. You could be arguing with the Sag and Aries element about an earth sign, but I want to be with. So the eight of cups going towards the seven of wands. I want to be with the earth sign. You want to be with the Taurus, you want to be, but they don't, they, they, may, they may not want to, they do or they do not, <laughs> or it's the Capricorn energy, whatever earth sign that you're tied to here, they, you want to be with that element, you want to be with them, but asking their partner permission, so the Eight of Cups going towards the Seven of Wands energy, you want to, you want to ask the earth sign energy's partner, the business partner, for permission to be with them, work with them, do business with them, like I said, like I said, frozen like i said from the from the very beginning of this video you someone's going on with having a friend and earth sign energy could be your knows what's happening to you the earth sign energy could be your friend or just live with you or work with you but they just they just know what other co-workers or they have information about your ex co-workers or your exes or they just know what's happening to you interesting in the workplace or with your own business that they don't even know they have information about what's happening with you with your business partners that you don't even know Eight of Cups going towards the Seven of Wands energy. Hmm. So you need to have pull the Earth sign energy aside and, and have a conversation with like them. You, you like the Earth sign energies, but you may par partners that the partners, par their own business partners, you secretively do business with. Their own business, their business partners, you secretively do business with. And and you you they you think that they don't know that so you can be pulling them aside to have conversations about their that you're secretly doing business with you're pulling them aside to have conversations about their partners but you're secretly they know that you're you're asking them questions that you're asking them questions that they intuitively know that you that they intuitively know you're doing business with their partners why are you asking me so when I said that, that why are you asking me that if you already know the answer to that question. Mm. But you're secretively doing business with their partners. It just depends, or the business partners, or their lovers. But but there's also something going on here with asking asking the Ursa Energy's partners to be with them. However, you be with them, work with them. Intuition. You use your housemate. You're using intuition about a housemate that you have, a coworker that you have, whatever, or another another colleague that that sees that knows about secretive meetings. Another colleague or coworker that you have that knows about secretive meetings that have been happening around you, that you were exempt from. They they know they know they know why somebody is cutting off a conversation. I uh, before ten. <laughs> they know why somebody's cutting off a conversation before ten o'clock in the morning at, at ten p.m. It's, the spirit said ten. I just feel the need to say ten. Somebody's cutting off a conversation right before you could finish a sentence. It has something to do with your money or theirs. But they just have information. When I said your money or theirs, they just have that information. They just have it, okay? And Aries elements and, and secretive involvements with Aries element and taxes and, and wanting to be with them, you know? But the reason to why you want to be with them or talk to them, you, you like them, but you're, you're doing business with their partners, but you think they don't know that, they, that you are. It just depends on what's going on there, okay? Or someone's going on really secretive with ex, like, uh, what do you call it, um, colleagues or ex, ex coworkers from the past that know what's happening with you. So when I said that they know what's happening with you or the earth sign energies had a run in with the earth sign energies may have had a run in or unintentional run in with one of your colleagues or coworkers, but they don't know them. So when I said that they don't know them. So the Taurus, the Capricorn had a run in with one of your colleagues your or one of your exes or one of your ex coworkers. But you're saying that they're having that kind of run in. One of them could be ended up approaching the other, but you're trying to say that one of them doesn't even know. One of them doesn't know 
Okay, okay. You're okay. This is a perfect example. You, if you're really separate, if you're really separate from the earth side energy, for example, and you're saying that they don't know your colleagues or your coworkers how to run in with them. They had to run in with them. And that could be what the eight of cups going towards the seven of wands. That could be what the conversation is about. That could be what a conversation is about or is about potentially. That 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 someone that you someone that you someone that you work with, someone that you work with. No, someone that had some type of run in with someone that you live with, someone someone that you used to work house housemate, someone that you used to work with had a run in with your housemate, some type of situation like that, or an, an ex coworker ran into a new coworker, or they know each other, but you're trying to say that they they don't know they don't know that you have some type of relation between that that run in there. You don't they, somebody doesn't know that for some reason. But that could be what the earth sign energy is starting to find out or realize. High priestess energy, earth sign. High priestess could be the earth sign energy there. Or the earth sign energy could be using, the earth sign energy could be using their intuition that you're involved, Sag, that you're involved with the Sag, Aries, Leo, that you're involved, that the earth sign energy could be, they're interesting run-ins that they're having with people. The earth sign energy is using their intuition that you're involved with their secretive run -in, like some type of interesting run -in that they're having with people outside of the home, outside of the workplace. I work with those people. You work with those people. You you used to date those people. You used to do business deals with those people. But they're having run-ins with someone new that, that is in your life. And that could be what that could be that could that could also be conversation being cut short. That could also be why a conversation is being cut short somewhere. A conversation being cut short somewhere because of that reason. All right, let's see what the outcome is here, Aquarius. Okay, the wheel of house, the wheel of fortune energy resides with a house or or but moving temporarily. So the wheel represents that you could be moving somewhere or moving somewhere temporarily, living somewhere temporarily, whatever the situation is. You you could be living somewhere, working somewhere temporarily, but strange things happening. Living somewhere, working somewhere temporarily, strange things happening. Something strange. That's why the, the eight of cups is going. Complaining to Sag, complaining to the fire sign energies, weird. Someone's you deem something to be strange or weird somewhere for some reason. However, you want to look at something strange or weird. For example, I'll give you a perfect example that the spirit is saying that, or the spirit is is emphasizing that heavily because you're working somewhere stolen. You could be like I said, you're working somewhere where you don't realize that something is stolen or you're working somewhere where people are weaning off. You're working somewhere where you don't realize that people are weaning off of some type of money that you have or you don't know you don't know that the reason you don't know the reason into why someone isn't giving you money back is because they 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 took it and dispersed it to regenerate for the, for themselves. They took it, dispersed it, but they're trying to regenerate money for themselves. And you're like, where's eight of cups going towards seven of wands? You're arguing with the fire signs. Where's my money? Mm. Where's my money? What did you do with it? You know? Or the wheel of fortune, the real the wheel of fortune was some something being strange. You know what? You know what's coming to mind? Like that show that somebody was telling me to watch, um, Stranger Things. <laughs> I don't know why that's coming to mind for some reason. Stranger Things, something's interesting. Like it's, it's but something is strange. Like something is um, meetings happening and being exempt from meetings and shortened phone calls. You don't know why you're. Something's going on with interesting. Something's going on interesting with being cut off on the phone or somebody brushing off a conversation. But it has something to pay. It has something to do with your pay or paying someone. Mm. Or or someone's going on with um someone's going on with liking someone inside of your home, but some but trying to, the, the the interesting feeling with that is because you you're doing secretive business with somebody's business partners and you're trying to say that they don't know that, but they do. Or that could be happening around you, Aries and Sag. That's happening around you with Aries and Sag elements that are side energy tied to, or they're separate. Or something's going on with people weaning off of taxes. Something's going on with people weaning off of your taxes. And you're like, I'm trying to be successful, but I want my money back. But I want my money back now that you realize that something was stolen or taken. Hmm. Money, your taxes. People be people being a part of, you're, you're being asked to leave meetings and things of that nature. But that happened to a Taurus. So being asked to leave meetings and, and somewhere for some reason, that happened to a Taurus element. For some, That also happened to a Taurus. 
And it could be about their money or their funds or their taxes. Capricorn, Taurus elements there. Eight of Cups going towards the Seven of Wands energy. But should I leave here again? So the Eight of Cups going towards the Seven of Wands, should I leave here again? Should I take leave from work again? Should I, whatever it is. Let me do another outcome on the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Pentacles, but still make money. So Seven of Pentacles, you, you're you still making money, but something, but something is strange. About some missing money. Someone could be strange because you, you may not realize that some part of money is missing. But that's what a Sag said. So when, when I said that's what a Sagittarian energy said, that's what an Aries said. That's what the fire sign Leo that they have. Those elements have that. That that's what they're telling you. <laughs> Those elements have that, but they they're not telling you where is I, who took it. They're not telling you where it is. They're not telling you who took it. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles with the wheel. Stranger Things. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel the need to say Stranger Things for some reason. I feel like it really resides with this reading for some reason. You're going to get it back, you know? But if you leave, so you're going to get something back in whatever setting is here. You're going to get, or you're going to get somebody back. <laughs> you, you, or if the fire side energies leave, you're going to get be with Earth sign. You could be, you, if the fire side energies leave, then you end up being with an Earth sign. Or if they leave, you'll get your money back. Or if they leave, the Earth sign energy will get the part of their money back. The Earth sign energy will get parts of their money back. It just depends on what's going on. Or it's you. Or you'll get the information that you need. It just depends uh, from Aries. You'll get the information that you need from an Aries element. That's why the Eight of Cups is going towards the Seven of Wands energy. All right? All right, Aquarius, let me know how it resonates. Be well. Take care. Bye.